Hello everyone and welcome to the map Stargazers. Joining me in the upper left, the Terran in purple, it is the man, the myth, the Maru. And his Protoss opponent warping in, in the upper right with the yellow probes and the Professor Zeratul portrait, it is showtime. Professor Zeratul himself and Mr. Maru. Where's that barracks going? In your own base, Maru. I'm surprised. No proxy barracks? Showtime, surely. You proxy Stargate, Dark Shrine, nothing. No shenanigans, no cheese, no cheeky business, cheese key business, if you will. Hmm. But it's TVP. Don't these guys know? Probe, gonna get into the base, start being a problem, the nuisance, harassing, creating the most unsafe work conditions possible behind the showtime just doing normal business nexus before core he knows he's safe he's got it handled he didn't get the nickname the wall for nothing did he maru normal reaper expand factory behind it not gonna be a three racks no psychotic two one one nothing all right Ladies and gentlemen, I think we're uh, I think we're looking at a macro game here. Uh oh. Hope you brought your popcorn, your beverages. Buckle up. What are you doing over here, Maru? Oh, did I speak too soon? Starport. Really? A, uh, so not, not quite a proxy starport. It's more like a Macarax version of a starport, a Macroport. I'm not sure. The factory gonna sit on that reactor doing some barracks, doing some push-ups. All right, get your morning workout in, everyone. Yes. Very good. Do it again. One more time, Maru. This is looking like... I'd have to guess either a Hellion Liberator combo or a Hellion Drop. Drop. Looking at a Medivac. All right. Reaper makes its way over to the other side. There are Adepts already pre-shading. Very nice. Reaper going to be denied that scout and quite possibly denied his life in the bolt. I was hopeful. I thought when he got into the foliage and the adept did not shoot, he was gonna be fine. Sadly, not the case. Oracle gonna finish up. Very standard, unsurprising Stargate opener from the Protoss. Adepts move across the other side of the map. Does he see this? He sees the Hellions. Immediate reaction. Hellions in the main base. Adepts turning around. But the real damage is being done here. Probes already split. But not much past that. Oh, there's nothing that shoots up yet. Phoenix just now getting out. Medivac boost going to uh, keep that safe for just a second. And the Hellion's going to be beaten back by the Adept Shield Battery combo. Does it die? Hell, the uh, Phoenix definitely can keep up with the Medivac, so I do not expect the Medivac to get away. The Hellions look like they're going to, though. Continued Phoenix production. Oh, a boost. There's nothing down here, though. If he was boosting into a Cyclone, he might be okay. Unfortunate loss. Gonna have to get a replacement Medivac for that. Robo being made behind. Oh, there's Widow Mines over here. Looks like they did a little bit of damage. Adept's gonna clean up that one. Two probes have fallen from over here, it looks like. And there's a Widow Mine over here, even. 
No kills yet. Maru. So many drops, I'm not even keeping up with them. This is an armory mine drop, too. Very nice showtime with the perfect timing there. He knows. One probe going to be lost. Widow mine crawls its way. Oh, he's going to get lifted up. Can't do anything about it, though. Phoenix has come home. This one got another couple kills, it looks like. Two probes have fallen. That one. This one. There's mines everywhere, guys. I can't keep up with this. Dropping in the natural. Phoenix is trying to respond. They're going to run out of energy eventually, though. And this one now. The slow saunter showtime. Two probes. This one. Fire. Oh. Into Hellbats. Why not? Hellbat drop. Maru going full blown. Drop a clock here. <laughs> How many widow mines was that? Seven. Seven widow mines. He still got some. Still got some alive to Hellbat drop. Inching dangerously close to the Phoenix's here. He might think it's widow mines and outcome Hellbats and Showtime surely says, What? What on earth was that? Widow Mines make the reign of the natural yet again, Showtime, with an excellent response, though. Oh, two more fall. This one gets one, two, it looks like. Annoying. Maru being the annoying one in this match. Full blown drop a clock. Widow Mines just being flung about the place. Phoenixes are doing a great job responding. There's still one up here though. <laughs> are you trying to go for the Oracle? Was that a little obvious? Medivac not getting away. That's perhaps the most unfortunate loss in all of this is five Medivacs have had to give their lives simply to keep up with all of these widow mind shenanigans. Showtime not dead yet though. Yes, losses have been somewhat extensive. 22 probes have gone down, but he's still here. He's still getting what he wants. He's going up to that Colossus deck. He's got a third base set up. Maru sitting happily on two and a half bases. Widow Mines doing the crawl. Here. No, not here. Who really knows what Widow Mines are thinking? We don't know what kind of processor they've got in there. It could be some old, like, i2 processor. Come on. I like that spot, though. That's quite good. Ah. Showtime beaten by the good old I moved my minds trick. Colossus. Scouting, in a sense, in a form. Gateway explosion is happening right now for Showtime. He's got plus one and charge coming as well. Liable to see him move out on the map in a couple minutes. It's still Maru's turn to try and get anything done. Unload. He does save it all. Concussive shells gonna finish up. Ghost Academy already on the way. One of the differences you see between the super top tier Terrans and the rest of the world basically is that Ghost Academy comes out before Templar, before Storm even make an appearance. The Templar Archives finishing up. There was a stasis here. Widow Mine took a hit for the team. Very nice to see. Phoenixes, did they spot that base? They did not. Did not spot the base going down. I feel like they could have harassed that a little bit. Picked up the worker. Delayed construction. Charge about to finish up along with combat shields. Maru goes for the base. It's a dropping game. You guys know. Oh, good Widow Mine Shot connects with the Phoenix. Charge Lot Colossus here to respond. I think that's a plenty of Protoss. And Marge is going to head back out. Fine. I'm not walking out, though. I'm going to fly out. 
Paid good money for that plane ticket, darn it. Yeah, I don't I don't think that's a good fight, Mar. Archons, Colossi, even Adepts still in the game here. Single charge lot ambitiously makes his way into the base. SCV's completely undeterred though. Oh, this group finds the charge lots quick response burrowing that mine in time. Colossus definitely gonna shut that down though. The Phoenix is not really able to contest with this force. There's a warp prism skirting along the bottom of the map. Mm -hmm. There's even stalkers here able to hunt down the medevacs. Maru gets a gateway for his trouble and then heads out. What are you up to? That's what I want to know. Zealots, I would guess. We'll find out. Hmm. Beautiful <clears throat> observer placement there. Showtime just rotating around. He's gotten a lot of the pieces of his puzzle. Not quite maxed out, though. He's waiting on a few disruptors, it looks like. Disruptors, one of those key unit choices for the Protoss, as it adds that layer of splash damage. Warp Prism, artfully scouting a command center. Maru's got two attack groups set up. Phoenix are watching the top side, just in case any drops came in. Oh, charge lots were warped in over here. And Maru makes his way into this base. Good EMP on most of those forces. Shield battery energy is going to be drained. Zealots doing some damage in the mineral line yet again. The bottom group is the one responding. Not quick enough, though. These soldiers going to clean that up. Widow Mines. Throughout the entire game, <clears throat> Widow Mines. Phoenix fighting Vikings. Not the usual pick, not the usual battle we get to see in this matchup. Additional forces warped in. I love the cannons. Showtime says you destroyed that gateway. Fine, I'll replace it with cannons. Not gonna be able to that warp prism do not put that in park showtime the Terrans abound Maru knows this is coming right showtime taking some more damage to widow muds it's just everywhere Vikings going to clean up the Phoenix at long last denying showtime some map vision some map control there's more gateways coming up though it looks like he might want to commit just full army at this point maru with the committed attack can he get the robo bay he does denying the gravitic drive or prism speed more uh, colloquial colloquially called words i got ambitious Ooh, this group, far stronger for the Protoss Disruptor Shot, gonna take out that ghost. Warp Prism support, quick warping. That was rapid, rapid fire, more like that was instant fire, more accurately called. Maru's looking to join up both army groups showtime as well, but the Protoss cannot get here nearly as quickly as the Terran Forces Disrupt are going to be picked off. Warp Prism destroyed good Disruptor shots so far. EMPs charge lots flanking from the top side. The Protoss reinforcements are here. But frankly, there's just no one left to save. Disruptor shot for zone control more than anything. Uh oh. He stems forward, he gets the jump on them both. Going to be picked off. And that, that was pretty much it for the disruptor count. Showtime chrono boosting, cranking them out as quickly as possible, but I'm a little nervous. Maru with quite the army supply advantage. He's got Vikings, he's got Liberator range, even. And a nuke on the way, of course. Because why not? Why not get a nuke? High sec auto tracking. You already got everything else from the engineering bay. It's fine. 
We're not going to make fun of you this time. Liberator setting up shop disruptor walking into its own demise. This one on the bottom gets a good shot though. Colossus being the target of battery overcharge and Viking shots. Liberator's not quite cleaned up yet by the stalkers. There's a lot of marauders in this too. And it looks like Maru calling down the thunder. But it doesn't gonna... It's not gonna fall. Hmm. Denied our nuclear missile. Nonetheless, Maru going to take the game with a decisive engagement. Liberator support all looking great. If you enjoyed, be sure to let me know in the comments below, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I hope you have a great day.